My name is Margaret Jane Harris, born August 21st, 1906, Springfield, Kentucky. I got about 88 grandchildren, great-grandchildren. She's always encouraged us to go to school and to be good, educated citizens. The first time my grandmother voted was in 1928. It's a long time ago. First time in a lifetime. There are a lot of people, they're just living day to day and taking care of their families and doing what they're supposed to do as responsible citizens. So I don't fault her for not voting, but I know that she wants to vote now. And I think she's listened to enough rhetoric for 106 years to know when she hears the truth. Being honest is the most important thing, treating everybody right. <laughs> Barack Obama, he's honest, and I love him for it. I appreciate him. I know who he's looking out for me. <laughs> I think the president makes my grandmother feel like her voice does matter. To live through WW2, to have sons all in the military, to live through the civil rights era, to live through women's suffrage. She's seen a lot of change. So to see someone that she identifies with in the White House is amazing. She's excited about actually voting. I'm voting for Obama. <laughs> and the whole family's excited now. We're gonna have a huge party like we always have. But this year, the only gift that my grandmother wants for her birthday is to have the president reelected. We're gonna celebrate going forward. today to be a part of this for my grandmother. Everyone should go. I am so proud of my grandmother at 106 years old. I hope that she will inspire other elderly people to feel as though they have a voice and that their voice can be heard and that someone will acknowledge that they, here I am, and yes, I matter. Red, white, and blue going forward. <laughs>